Okay, so here we're going to have multi-step equations. So we're going to have to do more than just move one term, basically. We have to move more than just one number in order to isolate the variable. So here we're looking at negative 3x minus 4 is equal to negative 10. So again, every time you're trying to solve, your objective is to isolate the variable. So I have the x, which is here, that I know I need to get by itself. So when I look at the equation, I have the negative 3 times the x. I also have a 4 subtracting from the x. And all of that is equal to negative 10. And so what we want to do is we are going to first move the negative 4. Because you are always going to move anything furthest from the variable. Okay? You have to take off your jacket before you could take off your shirt. So the things furthest from your body must be removed before those that are closest to your body. Right? So in order for me to move the 4, since it's currently subtracting from the x, I'm going to add 4 to itself and cross the equal sign to add it to the negative 10. So you go from left to right and bring down, keep everything in order, negative 3x minus 4 plus 4 simply cancels equals a negative 10 plus a 4. Those signs are different. You take the difference, it's going to give you a negative 6. Now I'm looking at negative 3 times x equals negative 6. So I still need to get the x isolated, so that means the negative 3 needs to relocate to the other side of the equal sign. And so in order for me to separate a multiplication, I'm going to do the opposite operation, which would be to divide. So I'm going to divide by negative 3. So we get x equals 2. Okay? And again, feel free to check your work for yourself. Check your work. That'll help you. It'll help you with your signs. It'll help you with simplifying. It'll help you make sure you're doing your problems correctly. All right, on this next solve, we have 2 times a plus 12 is equal to 2. And so we're trying to solve here. Who are we solving for? We're trying to solve for the a. What does that mean? That means it needs to be by itself. You need to get the a by itself on one side. So when I look at this equation, if I want to get a by itself, I know I need to move that 2 and I need to move the 12. So the 2 that I'm talking about is this 2 right there, right? So I have 2 times a plus 12 equals 2. The first thing that must relocate is the 12. Remember, anything adding or subtracting is going to move first. So since it's plus 12, I'm going to subtract 12 from itself, and I'm going to cross the equal sign and subtract it from that 2. So that's going to leave us with 2a equals negative 10. So now I'm looking at 2 times a equals negative 10. So in order to separate a multiplication, I must divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I get a is negative 5. And again, feel free to check your work. So you know it's correct. Okay? Math is easy. You just got to practice.